Hey everyone, John Chow here from johnchow.com and right now I'm here at the, uh, I think the Walnut uh, Walnut Mall Village Shopping Center. Center. So I mean, I'm, I'm here at a, at a new pho restaurant. We're, tech, we're checking out a, uh, a pho that uses bone marrow. Yeah, bone marrow. So this will be a very interesting. Yeah, joining me for this culinary adventure, Oscar from Not a Grouch. And the thing, first thing I noticed about this restaurant is that they're trying to be like a fusion restaurant. Yes. It's supposed to be pho, Vietnamese, but look, look, what is this? Pineapple fried rice. Pineapple fried Thai rice. Dish. That is what, what, that's what country? Philippines? It's Thai. Thai. That's Thai. That's Thai. And we have salmon soup. Sa salmon Asian soup. Asian noodles, so I don't know what that is. Yeah. Maybe that's Laos or something? No. Yeah, and if you, if you look at this, uh, this menu here, let me zoom in on this menu here. If you look at this menu, you see the appetizer, you see something like Cajun fries, popcorn chicken, you know, calamari. This is not really, it. It's yeah, it's different, but uh, yeah, but it's unique, it's interesting. Definitely a fusion style restaurant. And it's a play with the place called Tibo Pho. And, and like I said, they're known for their bone marrow pho. And the house special is basically bone in rib. It's really, really big. And, and I'm looking forward to trying that. But first of all, we're gonna start with some appetizer. We, we ordered the, uh, the chicken house fries and the butter stone calamari. We'll see how, we'll see how that tries. Get that shot first and then we'll go to the pho. Okay, so here's our Vietnamese iced coffee. It's interesting because iced coffee on the top is the ice, but on the bottom is still warm. It's warm at the bottom, yeah, cool at the top. So you gotta mix it up. And they just made it. Gonna make, and I noticed that the cup has a perfect hole for the straw to go in. So, cool. Shake it, Oscar, shake it. Okay, my, my mistake. Here I thought it was supposed to go in here. Probably it's not. It goes in this hole. So you break this hole here. See? Okay. All right, so that lets the air in. This sucks the air out. That's what it's for. Cool. It's iced coffee, right? It should taste like iced coffee. This is like cafe con leche. Mexican version. Mexican version? Oh. Which good? Yeah. It's All right. It's All right. So our uh, appetizer here is what kind of fries is this again? The loaded fries. Loaded fries. It's kind of low. yeah. What was it called? It was called uh, shaken house fries. So it, it's been shaken, not stirred. It looks like a loaded fries, and uh, it, that, that bread says that sriracha. Maybe. I think because he asked if you want it spicy, right? So they might put some sriracha in it. Anyway, uh, let's give it a try and see how we like it. Oh, this is the uh, the calamari. Wow, that looks really nice. So this is the uh, butter stone calamari. Yeah. They're definitely looking at the two. The uh, the calamari definitely looks more appetizing than uh, the loaded fries. But I'm sure they're both good. Let's give it a try and see how we like it. Let's dip that in the sauce here. Sauce, sauce yeah, it looks good. Mm -hmm. That's good. That's really good. Wow. Mm. Yeah, really good. Hey guys, like I told you, I was going to get a chance to interview Yvonne. This is Yvonne, she's the owner, she runs the shop, another boss lady, so I wanted to ask her some questions so you know more about the place. Hi Yvonne, um, how long have you been in business again? Uh, two years, two years. Oh, well, maybe two weeks. But what inspired you to create a menu that's like, I mean it's very different, this is not strictly Vietnamese, it's not strictly, like, it seems like a fusion menu. Fusion, yeah, fusion, you know, yeah. like Vietnamese. Because uh, around here, it's not like completely 100% Asian. Sure. So we want to make the food for everyone. Can, okay. You know. And where are the, some of the flavors from? Like what kind of flavors we, are you mixing? We, uh, we from the North, from Vietnam. North Vietnamese. So the flavor is very tasteful. Yeah. Oh, okay. And I noticed you have a few like Thai inspired dishes like the pineapple fried rice. Is that new? Yeah, that's a new item. Yeah. And what is, uh, I know you're known for the pho, right? Mm -hmm. What is like the favorite pho? Uh, a lot of people order the bone and short rib. The bone and, and short rib? Yeah, you know like uh, the big bone, yeah. long and fall off the, the bone, the meat fall. And it's beef rib. Beef rib. Right. Last time we spoke, you mentioned that you're looking to open up a new location too. Yeah, we, we, we uh, 
hopefully next year. Next year, you are, so you already started that. Yeah, yeah. And where's that going to be? Cypress. Cypress. Okay, so that's that's a few miles up the road in close to Huntington Beach. Um, is it going to be this? I mean, the same as this, but over there, or totally brand new concept? Same thing, same concept. Okay. How do you say it? Tebo, 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 and it's, they also have teas and some yeah, juice, we love juice drink. Yeah, we lot of tea and juice drink, like fresh fruit. So and then so it's a little healthy stuff, like because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. the fries were definitely not good for my diet, but they're still amazing. And the meat she was telling me is beef, beef belly, belly, which I don't think I've ever had, but that's what made it so so good. So anyway, thanks thanks for giving us a few minutes of your time. I know you're busy. Thank you so much. This is not the big bone. Actually, that's not the big. This bone. is not the big bone soup. It looks like a big bone soup, but it's really not. This is the what is it? The, the, the beef rib. rib. The bone in beef rib. And so there you see the, the broth made from bone marrow and the beef rib with the bone in. And as you know, I ordered the big bone soup. Well, this is not the big bone. <laughs> That's insane, Oscar. That's insane. Wow. Oscar is going to Instagram that out. Yeah, this, I saved my Instagram. Yeah, Instagram that out because this is not the big bone. The big bone is coming. Oscar, here it comes. Look at, check it out. Check it out. Oh my God. What the? Okay. Uh, she wasn't kidding. This is the uh, big bone pho. So basically, I got this is the bowl with the pho, the noodles. And the bones are so big, they come in a separate bowl that's bigger than the noodle bowl. Look, this is mine right here. All right. And that is definitely big bone pho. Uh, there's no way I can eat this all by myself. So, okay, so uh, uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take one of Oscar's beef rib and he's gonna take half of my bones. <laughs> that's how it's gonna be done, yeah. Yeah. And actually, Oscar, I'll give you three quarters of my bone for one of you. How's that? Because <laughs> And I'll still, be, I'll still be more than full. Wow. All right, let, let's dig in and try this. Uh, honestly, I have no idea how I'm gonna tackle this. So, anyway, Oscar gave me his. Uh, Bone in one of his bone in beef ribs, and Oscar, help yourself to a to a giant bone. I don't know how we're gonna do this. This is ridiculous. That that is. I have no idea. This is definitely the biggest bowl of pho I've ever seen. But anyway, let me begin by trying just a soup stock. So I can give me a spoon here. All right. So let's try this. This is a beef stock made with bone marrow. So looks very interesting. Let's get this in a try. Bone marrow beef stock. Mmm. That's a good soup base. Very good soup base. This literally fall off the bone. So let's try a piece of this uh, beef short ribs. This broth just looks amazing. Beef short rib. Yeah. I mean, it's. Mmm. That is good stuff. And um, a soup base. Wow. Let's peel up a piece of this uh, of this bone here and give this a try. You know, dip it into the soup base here. Dip it in the soup. All right, here we go. Hmm, that is good. This may be my new favorite beef noodle pho soup place. Wow, this is something I used to do when I was a kid. Look at that. There's the bone marrow. Look at oh, look at that. That's the bone marrow right here. All right. Let's try the bone marrow. That is a butter. Just, oh. Wow, it's like beef butter. Beef butter. If you want to say, you want to know what beef butter tastes like, this right here. Take out the bone marrow. There you go. That is beef butter right there. Mm. Wow. I just noticed this. They give you a scissor. They give you scissors to. Uh, you know, yeah, to cut the pieces off, right? Kind of cut around the bone and stuff. That's right? awesome. Cut some pieces off. Let me, let me cut a piece here and show you. And there's still more down there. Wow, that is insane. A lot of tendon, a lot of meat. <sighs> food porn, food porn. <laughs> is that a leg bone or a shoulder bone? Uh, I don't know what part of the cow that is, but obviously a very, very powerful part of the cow. All right, so 
This is a Thibaut Pho. If you want to try the uh, biggest, most delicious uh, beef bone pho made with bone marrow, you gotta come check it out. It's at the, uh, it's at, I believe it's the Walnut Shopping Center here at Culver and Walnut, just off the I-5. So uh, yeah, if you're in the area, come check it out. It's amazing and the prices are, the price is great. Like this, this big bowl here was what, 11 50? 11 50. 11 50 for this, be like this mega two huge bones far and so great value great food and uh yeah now i can see why it's so busy because we're here for lunch and it's already filling up so uh but no lineup at the moment so but i'm sure it will be a little later so yeah and i can't finish it so oscar is gonna pack the bone away and give it to the dog yeah yeah pack it with the dog so all right so if you enjoyed this little episode and it made you hungry give me a thumbs up please like and share my video subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys next time. Oscar packed the bone away for the dog. Yeah, so yeah, we're gonna, we can't eat it all. So basically it was more than enough food for me, Oscar and the dogs. Yeah, and a 25 pound dog. So there you go. That's just like amazing. Totally amazing. Yeah, amazing. No food went to waste. No food went to waste. <laughs>